If you want to be a proficient coder and meet your productivity goals, you need to know medical terminology and anatomy. In fact, most medical coding courses will require you to take medical terminology and anatomy and physiology as prerequisites. The good news is you don't need to enroll in a college or a university or spend a ton of money to learn medical terminology and anatomy. Let me tell you about some of the cheap and free resources that you can utilize to learn medical terminology and anatomy before you learn medical coding or even while you're learning medical coding. Hey everyone, I'm Victoria. I'm a medical coder, auditor, educator, and content creator. And on my channel, I provide tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you be successful in a medical coding career. Medical terminology and anatomy and physiology. So if you're enrolled in a full program through a business school or a university, they will have you take those courses. That'll be included in your whole degree or diploma program. However, if you're someone who's going to self-study or you're going through just a medical coding program, they will require you to learn med term and anatomy prior to taking those courses. I've heard a couple of people say that you don't really need to learn medical terminology to be a medical coder, which isn't true. If you're part of the healthcare team and you're working with providers and working with physicians and nurses, you really need to be able to speak to what you are coding, speak to things that you see in operative reports, in notes, understand them to uh, a certain degree, maybe not to what an LPN would, but to be able to articulate yourself appropriately. I've had some people ask questions like, hey, since I can just use Google, do I really need to know all of these medical terms and all the different types of medications because I can just look them up while I'm working as a medical coder? And yeah, we all use Google to look up things that we don't understand, but you should have a decent base knowledge of these things because medical coding is productivity based and the more time you take to spend to look up terms is gonna slow down your productivity. And it might not seem like a ton of time that you think, okay, you know, it's just gonna take a minute or two to Google Google something, but that really does add up if you don't have a decent base knowledge and you're really Googling a ton of different terms and medications. Also, if you're taking the CPC exam, the Certified Professional Coder through the AAPC, you're not allowed a medical dictionary in order to pass your certification, which you need to be employable as a medical coder. Most organizations do require their medical coders to be certified through AAPC or AHIMA. The CPC exam through the AAPC is usually the most popular because the regulations and prerequisites aren't as stringent. So in order to even get that certification to get a job in medical coding, you have to be able to understand the med term on the 150 questions of the exam that they're quizzing you on because some of the things that they're gonna ask you will specifically just be on med term and some of them they're going to kind of weave into the questions because they're going to test your knowledge of medical terminology in order to lead you to the right code. Medical coding isn't always the one-to-one -one match that people think it is. They think it's like a phone book. You just look up a term and it has a number and that's what matches up. But it really does understand, especially in things like surgical coding or e &M, you have to understand a more breadth of knowledge of healthcare and health healthcare terms and abbreviations and all of that. But the good news is you don't have to break the bank in order to learn medical terminology if you don't want to. There's actually some free resources right here on YouTube. There's a channel on YouTube you can check out called JJ Medicine. I will include all of these links in the descriptions below. But JJ Medicine goes through chapter by chapter of a lot of different med terms. And if you're someone who can just learn through watching videos, that's a perfect option to learn medical terminology. Medical terminology, as long as you know your prefixes, suffixes, and root words, you can piece together just about anything. And that really is what that focus is on. As far as anatomy and physiology, let me tell you, Crash Course a and I will link the whole playlist below. It's narrated by Hank, which some of you might know from TikTok. He's very prominent over there, but it's a huge course, very lively, entertaining animations, and it will teach you everything you need to know and more about anatomy and physiology. So right there, JJ Medicine and Crash Course can teach you everything you need to know. The one drawback though is since it's not a formal course, they're just videos that you can access for free. You don't really have things like quizzes to assess if you have absorbed all of the knowledge. The next thing you can do is check out some of your community colleges. They may offer courses in medical terminology, sometimes online for pretty cheap through some different programs and associations that they have. 
Sometimes there are universities and places online that will offer free things that are more evergreen content. And what I mean, mean by evergreen content is things that they don't change a lot. You know, the human body isn't sprouting any new organs or processing things any new ways. So in those cases, you can oftentimes get those courses for free because they don't have a lot of maintenance to them. They don't have to change them up every year like we do with medical coding because of all the code changes. Check out places like Coursera because sometimes they do offer free or cheap courses on things like medical terminology. The next thing you can do is just use books. You could go to your libraries, check their database and see if they have any books on medical terminology and anatomy. Again, if they're older, it doesn't really matter too much because there hasn't been a ton of changes aside from maybe some of the learning resources that you could use. Maybe they link to something online that you can watch. It's more visual as well. This is one of the books that I've recommended in the past, Medical Terminology for Dummies. If you want something super, super super basic, very uh, digestible down to earth, you can use this book. But this book, let me tell you, is phenomenal. I recently came to learn about it. I will link this below because I think it is probably the best resource you can get, even if you're enrolled in a different course. This is Medical Terminology and Anatomy for Coders. So not only does this go through medical terminology and anatomy, but it does it almost by like coding chapter and it gives references specifically to procedures in CPT, in ICD-10-CM, there's pharmacology in here, it has exercises in it, it has the answers in the back that you can check and do an assessment on yourself to see if you're understanding. I mean, this is number one, the most recommended book I could possibly say. And one of the great things about this book is the way that it's broken down. So this chapter that I have open right now is musculoskeletal system and connective tissue. So if you're learning medical coding currently and you're on the chapter that's on musculoskeletal, you could just while you're while you're going through that chapter go through this as well you could start just by opening up this book to this the musculoskeletal chapter read this read through the terms and then go into the stuff in your coding curriculum hands down this is one of the best resources i have found i think i would recommend this to anyone in any medical coding curriculum inpatient outpatient whatever um, even if you're learning through the aapc or through a school or whatever this is a resource that i that i think is just so fantastic and can partner so well with any medical coding curriculum. I'll link this below as well. It's going to cost a little bit more than something basic like medical terminology for dummies, but I think it is just so well worth it. The last thing you can do is use flashcards and there's actually online flashcards. If you just search around on Quizlet, Q-U-I-Z-L-E-T, Quizlet.com, you can find all kinds of medical terminology and anatomy flashcards online. Or if you like just having that feel of paper ones, these are the ones that I recommend. It is uh, medical terminology. This is by Quick Study by Bar Charts. There's a thousand cards. Some of these terms I haven't even heard of before. A lot of them are just things like your prefixes and suffixes and your root words. So this one here, you can see it is itis. And then if you flip it over, it tells you that it's inflammation. So you can just practice going through and pulling out some of these cards and working through your med term that way. Again, there's lots of different versions that you can get, but these are the ones that I utilize the medical terminology and I'll link these below as well. You can find them on Amazon. So those are the resources that I recommend for learning medical terminology and anatomy and hey, different strokes for different folks. Maybe you like learning in books. Maybe you want something visual like the YouTube channels, or maybe you just want a full course and you can probably find something reasonable that can teach you the basics online. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you hook me up with a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, just keep on coding on.